Okay, you guys ready to go? Yep. Maybe 10 minutes and 30 seconds. I'm slipping. Okay, here we go. I've got one more strategy to share with you. Um, and it's again to create buyers in your preferred market area because again we want both sides of the transaction we want listings we want buyers we want to ultimately move towards 20 percent personal market share in our preferred market area and so we're going to draw from a number of different prospecting and marketing sources to get there and again i'm going to focus very specifically on an incredible tool that we have in our uh, free Remax Lead Street website that, that virtually no agents are taking advantage of. Um, I see agents all the time willing to write checks for $400 a month, $500 a month, $1,000 a month to outside consultants and website companies to get them leads and presents when our Remax Lead Street websites are typically more robust than anything agents would be paying big bucks for. So, disclaimer, I'm not a techie. If somebody asks me a technical question, you're going to see a blank look on my face, okay? And I'm going to say, go talk to Tim Ross. Go talk to somebody who knows, okay? All I know is how to use the stuff, okay? I don't even know why it works. I don't know how it works. I answered your question earlier. It just goes in and grabs that data out of the MLS. Okay, that's all I know. Okay, that, that should be encouraging to you, okay? If I can do it, you can do it. In fact, I'm going to tell you exactly how I learned to do what I'm teaching you to do today. I attended Tim Ross's classes that he offers in all our metro areas every single month on our Remax Lead Street website and search engine optimization. But because I never get it the first time I hear it, usually the second or third or fourth, I carry that little video camera with me everywhere I go. So I recorded his sessions. I set up my camera and just let him go, put my little mic on him so I had a good audio signal. I uploaded those videos to my YouTube channel, which I'm going to share with you before we're done. And then I just downloaded the uh, Lead Street manuals right off our Lead Street homepage, watch the video, flip through the manual, and then tried to do the stuff on my laptop. And I did that over and over and over until I figured it out, okay? It will not be that complicated for you um, because I, I have made it so super simple now. For example, what I'm doing right now, is not just recording with the video camera, but I'm using a screen capture technology where you can just follow my cursor on your screen and just do exactly the same thing. It's paint by numbers, okay? So I've never seen this technology delivered as simply as what I'm doing it because for me it has to be simple. Otherwise, I don't get it, okay? So don't think that because it's technology, you can't do it, okay? If, if, you, can, if you can paint by numbers, you can do this. So our second buyer strategy, it sounds kind of complicated, but it's really kind of fun. We're going to build a, a landing page on our Remax website, build a page, okay? We're going to put a header on it that the search engines love to find. We're going to embed a YouTube video, and then we're going to embed a saved search for properties for sale in our farm area all on that one page. That one page is going to incorporate all the primary 
features that search engines love. And the whole point is that when somebody goes to Google or Yahoo or MSN and they search homes for sale in blank your farm area, your Remax landing page pops up on the first page of results. That's what we're looking for. So we're going to create something that the search engines love. Okay? Is that exciting? Yes. All right. Because it's free, right? you got to love that. So I'm actually just going <coughs> to demonstrate this again. We're going to cross our fingers and hold our breath and hope this works. Um, okay, so I'm back on my Remax Lee Street website. And if you have your... Oh, here we go. This is what we were trying to get to earlier. I guess that was already open. One web client, guess what? That registered this morning because I didn't know about that one. It was zero yesterday. And then 100 customers viewing listings on my website. Okay? So those numbers, what I would encourage you to do is to, in your calendar, or whatever you, whatever you track on a chronological basis, write down your numbers and then look at them daily to gauge the specific impact of the um, search engine optimization and Craigslist ads that you're, that you're hosting. Okay, that's, that's your scorecard right there. Okay, so what we're going to do is go into Site Builder. Oh, no. Hold on. Okay, where's my... You can build a page on my, mine if you want to. Let's do that. Could we do that? Oh, come on, you want to tell us all your logins? <laughs> <laughs> They're not that exciting. Okay. Go ahead, Kenneth. Go ahead. See, Kenneth is employing leverage. He's going to get me to do his work. Smart agent. Customers viewing. That's you've got you've got really strong numbers. So let's see if we can bump them up a little bit. So we're gonna go to Site Builder. Here we go. All right. Okay. Your account's been upgraded. Wonderful. Okay. Let's go on to Site Content. All right. Very good. So the page that you're seeing right now, if you're following along. Your page should look something like that. And what's happening is each of the boxes on this site content management page matches a top level navigation button on your Remax Lead Street website. So uh, contact, communities, properties, etc. So what we're going to do is hope that you still have a communities page in here. Let's scroll down and see. Profile, there's services, services would work. 
videos, pricing. Okay, let's do this. I'm going to add this. You, on your default content page, you have a section called, oh, there it is, communities. This is what I want right here. Can I show it just for this? Okay. Very good. Teacher? Yes. <laughs> After you went to Site Builder, then we're trying to get to where you are. Site content. Site content. Yes. Yeah, site content. Okay. Okay, now it's shown. Excellent. Um, okay. So I get for not having my computer. We're going to do this in a different place. Okay? We're going to come under properties because what I'm looking for are these links right here, which should be at the bottom of every one of these boxes on your site content page. So we've got add form, add page, add link. Now I said communities because what I'm specifically going to coach you to do this morning is to build landing pages for every neighborhood in your preferred market area. Okay? Now that's a little broader than your farm area. Okay? perhaps, depending on the size of your farm area. But I'm going to suggest that ultimately you have 30, 40, 50 neighborhoods where you are willing to work with buyers or sellers and create a landing page for each of those neighborhoods. Okay? Within giant master plan communities, there are sometimes <laughs> villages. Within the villages, there are neighborhoods and you can actually create a landing page at each level where you have an identified market area, okay? So in this case, we're going to select add a page. Let me just close this dialog box at the bottom. And we're gonna give it a title. Um, let's see, is there a neighborhood that you would like to dominate? Cherry palms. Cherry palms? I didn't know cherries. No, -E Sherry palms. Sherry. Okay. <laughs> Sherry palms. Did I spell that right? Yes. It's already there. It's already under 150. Yeah, it's already. Then I'm going to call this test. Okay, yeah. to differentiate it. Sherry palms test. So we're going to add the page. We're going to be congratulated in just a moment <laughs> for our good work. New page successfully added! Exclamation point. <laughs> now we're going to select edit content. Okay, so now we are on, this is a blank content page. So so what we did, guys, we just created a landing page on our website. Isn't that cool? You didn't know you could do that, did you? That's amazing. Okay, a couple clicks, we did it. I'm trying just trying to demystify it a little bit. It's not as hard as most of us think it is. So you put your cursor up in the left-hand box and you start typing in a few keywords that people are going to search on when looking for homes in Sherry Palms, okay? So the first thing they might be looking on is Sherry Palms, right? Okay, now very important, put a space after that and then you're going to put in a pipe. Most people don't know what a pipe is. You know what a slash is, right? You know what a backslash is. A pipe is a vertical and it's on your keyboard right now. If you look at your enter button on the right hand side of your keyboard, what? You didn't know? No, I didn't. I'm trying to make it really simple, okay? Above the enter button on your keyboard, there is a backslash key. If you hit shift and that key, you get a pipe, okay? So watch this. How about that? How about nice? that? Okay, so now put it in space and another word Sherry Palms. What about the zip code? Palms for sale. I like that. Space, pipe, seven seven five seven two. Okay, very good. Space, pipe, and you don't want to put too many in here. Yeah, let's do that now. It's five two five five two five nine five six. No, no, no. Nine five six there's zero code. Nine five six five two five five two five zero nine three. Zero nine three six. Okay, very good. Now, somebody's probably not going to search on your phone number, but there's a reason that we do want it in the header. 
And that's because when a consumer does land on this page, you want them to be able to contact you. So you could even put in your name and phone number on the header, and that way it's very visible to the consumer. You want it to be easy to, to be found. Now, the reason that we inserted a pipe <coughs> is that search engines recognize that data separated by pipes are key search words. Okay, so that's a very important tool. Yes, ma'am? If you have more than one landing page, Yes, I'm going to encourage you to do a minimum of 30 to 40 neighborhoods, but you can also do businesses, you can do services for buyers and sellers, you can do personal profile. Your Lead Street website, I think, has the capacity for 5,000 pages. Okay? I'm not saying do all 5,000, I said 30 or 40, okay? But unlimited uh, uh, capacity. Highlight that. The header that we just wrote, uh, let's do a control A, there we go. All right, you see the formats button up here in the command menu? We're going to select that, Come on. and we're going to make it a header. There we go. Okay. <coughs> search engines, search headers, and it goes beyond the search, the scope of what I'm going to teach you this morning. But your, your header needs to have some consistency with your descriptive content, which you would normally come in and write here. If you're looking for homes for sale in Sherry Palms, uh, contact me, put in your name, golf courses, gated, all that kind of stuff. <coughs> go to Tim's class if you want to go there. I'm going to show you two or three things to immediately get you on the search engines, okay? I can't show you everything in the next 30 minutes. I'm going to show you as much as I can. So we've already created a landing page. Congratulations. We've also created a searchable header. Congratulations. That's, that's critical right there for SEO. But now we're going to go a big step beyond that. What is a critical factor right now in driving search engine results? What are search engines looking for? Anybody know? Video. 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 What is the number two search engine in the world? What's number one? Google. Who owns YouTube? Google. Google. Okay, you get it? Google is giving preference to video content. Oh, that, is, that makes so much sense. Doesn't it? See, I'm glad you came all the way up from the Rio Grande and you're here. Got it. Okay, so Google gives preference to video content hosted on YouTube. Okay, how many of you have your own YouTube channel? Excellent. Excellent. And we asked him. We asked him in our little class that we do monthly to make us a web. I mean, a YouTube channel, right? Tim. Tim does a class. Doesn't. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. His SEO class. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Creating a YouTube channel is as simple as putting in your name and email address. Okay. You now, can create a YouTube channel. Who uses it though, right? What? Now get to who uses it and knows what to do with it. All right. That's what we're doing right now. So. On your YouTube channel, and this, again, oh, by the way, on my YouTube channel, I record everything that we do in the training room in my offices, and it's all available to you, and I'm going to give you that path before we're done, which is also where you're going to find this class today, okay? So I can't teach you how to create, upload, and edit a YouTube video in this class, but I've got a 10-minute video on it on the website, okay? Super, super simple. Awesome. Okay, so look what we're going to do here. We're going to find a video. Um, and if this was, if I was building it on my site, I would select this video right here of a community called April Sound, uh, where I went out and shot a 37 second video earlier this week. In fact, I am going to play it for you because I think there's a teachable moment or two in this. <laughs> I don't know if we have any sound, but let's, let's just try it. Wow, that's great, isn't it? <laughs> okay, I'm still going to make my point. So I'd never been to April Sound in my life. I was showing property up there, and I thought, hey, I'm going to teach a class on this on Thursday. <laughs> Not even realize I'd be doing it on Friday. Um, so let me just shoot a quick example. So I looked up April Sound. I Googled it, okay? Found the HOA page, selected the history tab, and you know what it told me? It said April Sound was started in the 1970s. It's got 27 holes of golf. It's got 12 tennis courts. It's got five swimming pools, and it's home to 7,000 people. That is all I needed to know. 
My research on this community took me about 30 seconds. So I show up at the country club, tell them I'm a realtor, ask permission to shoot a, a promotional video. I go out to the back deck on the country club, nice view of the water behind me. I turn my, put my camera on a tripod, that one right there, I hit go, I walk in front of it, and I say, hey, my name is Frank Gray. April Sound is a wonderful community on the shores of Lake Conroe. Started in the 1970s, it now has 27 holes of golf, 12 tennis courts, 5 swimming pools, and is home to 7,000 of the most wonderful people you would ever want to meet. But there's always room for more. So if you or your family are considering a move to the Lake Conroe area and are interested in seeing homes for sale in April Sound, please look at all the homes currently on the market listed below this video. 37 seconds. Awesome. Could, could you do that? Okay. That's how easy it is. That's how easy it is. And by the way, I didn't have to be on site at April Sound. I, it was convenient because I was there. I could have done that standing in front of the fireplace in my living room. Good night. Yeah. Yes. Introduce April Sound. <laughs> And since I'm standing in front of the fireplace in my living room, wouldn't it have been just as easy to create 10 37 second videos on 10 different communities? Wow. Okay? And introduce all of them while I'm just standing right there. So when I say create 30 to 40 landing pages, I'm not talking about a three year project. You can do that in a week. Okay? In your spare time, in a week. Instead of watching CSI, shoot a few videos, create a few landing pages. It's, it's really it's that, that simple, okay? So what we're going to do here, though, because there's another way. You don't even have to create your own videos. I recommend it because it's so easy, right? And it features your shining face. But let's just check this out. S-H-A. S-H-A. All right. Wow. Palms? Get there. Author Christy Sherry. Has nobody ever created a video about Sherry Palms? No, you oh, why don't you do Sherry Land Plantation? Yeah, Sherry Land Plantation. Do Sherry Land Plantation. Just add L-E-N. To the first word? Bingo. There okay, we there we go. Spanish. So watch this. Spanish, I love it. You should all know Spanish. Okay. Si. If. Si. Si. Muy bueno. Okay. If a video is public on YouTube, you have permission to share it. That's what public means. How do you know if a video is public on YouTube? You can see it. You can, watch it. You can see it. Okay. <laughs> Unless somebody sent you a private link. Okay, if you just do a search and a video shows up, you have permission to share it. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We found a video we like. We love this. Okay, presume we, we watched it. We liked it. So we come down here. This is fun. We click share. See that? Now we have a couple additional options open up to us. Yeah. Embed an email. We're going to select embed. Okay, and now we have highlighted in blue the source code for this video. This is, this is what's the fun part. Put your cursor in the box. Don't do anything else. Put your cursor there. Then do a control C, copy. Boom. Okay? Okay. You can do that, can't you? Now, let's go back to our Remax landing page for Sherry Palms. You'll see back up here in these commands. There's one with a little play icon. Look what happens when we hover over that. Okay, it says insert edit video. We're going to select that. Now we have two choices, general or embed. We're going to select the embed tab. And now it tells us what to do. Paste your embed code below. So I just do a control V paste. Control V paste. Okay, let's go back to YouTube. I don't think I actually got it copied over here. Let's try that again. Okay, back to our landing page. Let's try it again. There it is. Okay. 
Now we're just going to select OK. We're going to wait for congratulations. Looks like we're going to wait a long time. OK, when you see this grayed out area with the little play icon in the middle, that's good news. <laughs> that means you did something right. So we're going to pull the bar all the way down to the bottom. And there's a little button at the bottom called Submit. We select that. Are you sure you want to save it? Yes, we are sure. Okay. Now, we're back to our site content manager. And what we're going to do, I'm going to check one thing on our new Sherry Palms test page. Ah, good thing. You see these radio buttons right here? Right here in the middle? One of them is hide and one is show. And I think right now we're on hide. Yes, we are. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to put show. I'm going to click this button. Okay? The reason for that, you have a hide option so that while you're building a page and it's <coughs> under construction, you don't want it out to the public. But under show, everybody can see it all the time. For class purposes, we're going to show it under construction. Okay, so you can see what's happening. So we're back on our site content page. You see this little link right here, view live website? Let's see what happens. So we're on we're going to your website right now. Okay? More traffic. More traffic. Here we go. Duncan Lozano. All right, and I think we put this under the properties tab. Remember I said each of those boxes relates to the top level navigation menu on the home page? So we put it under properties, so we're going to search under properties, and looky there, Sherry Holmes test. Isn't that cool? We did that together. Did you spell it wrong? Yes. You need to it up there. That's why, so nobody can find it that way. Okay, here it comes. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Okay, so that's live on your website. A consumer can... If they're searching for Sherry Palms with the correct, you know, spelling, we had this correct, they would land on that. Okay, so we we have done two things of vital importance to driving consumers to your website. We put in key search terms in the header, separated by pipes. Okay, then we have embedded a video that's hosted on YouTube, which Google absolutely loves. But now I'm going to show you one more thing that puts this whole strategy on steroids. Okay? Search engines love meta tags, keywords. They love video, absolutely. But you know what they love more than anything else? Fresh content. Okay? Has anybody ever told you you need to have a blog? Right, right. You know why? Fresh content. You're going in there all the time. People pay. Uh, social media strategists to come in and post on their behalf, right? Because fresh content is what drives SEO. They send out these little spiders. Okay, that's that's my technical term. Okay, that crawl the website looking for fresh content. When they see that it's being updated frequently, they're more likely to drive consumers there who search on those keywords. Now, here's the problem: Who has time to update a blog several times a day? Right? Okay. What if I told you that you could have the equivalent of 30 to 40 blogs on your website that were being updated every 15 minutes with fresh content? And once you set it up in about 15 minutes, you never have to touch it again. Would that be pretty cool? Yes. That would be awesome. Okay. All right, <laughs> let's take a look. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna close this page. Boom. Close Sherry Land. Oh, I'm back there, go there. I'm gonna close some of these windows that we don't need now. Don't need that one. Don't need USPS. Okay. And we actually don't even need YouTube anymore. Okay but I think I have managed to log myself out of your website, your lead street. Can you log us back in? Sure. <laughs> By the way, I said 30 to 40 blogs. What do you think your actual capacity is? 
5,000. 5, I'm not saying go there, okay? <laughs> but you can. Now, do one more thing for us. Can you, um, let's, I'm, do, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put an HAR search on your landing page, okay? <laughs> because we're just, we're practicing, we're good, thank you. All right, so I'm gonna do one more, I'm gonna open one more window. <clears throat> I'm gonna I'm gonna log into my MLS. You want me to log into my MLS? <laughs> <laughs> it's a, I promise I'll be really easy for y'all to duplicate this. Okay. I want to I want to get y'all out on time, and I will. I promise. But I want you got to see this. This is amazing. Okay, so I'm logging in. My MLS. This will work in your MLS. It's all the same. If you have a Lead Street website. Lead Street website. We're going to go back into Site Builder. I don't normally get that screen, but I think this is going to take us to the right place. Okay, very good. Now select My Searches. All right, so now we have several hot link options on the left hand side of the screen. You'll see them in blue. Create a My Agent, uh, Agent Save Search is where we're going to start, right at the top. Okay, right here. <coughs> there we go. Now this is a typical search page like what you might see in your MLS and you can put in different criteria to find properties that match those criteria. But because what I'm coaching you to do is to master a neighborhood or multiple neighborhoods, we're going to go to advanced search. So click that, that button over on the right. Again, this is all about geographic farming. Here we go, we're up to over 40,000 listings. My goodness. So you have to search your MLS, so I just clicked on the Houston MLS. Okay. And now I'm going to search this neighborhood tab right here. Now you could exactly what I'm about to teach you, you could do for each zip code, school district, school, city, MLS area, etc. But but this is a geographic farming class, so we're going to we're going to focus on neighborhood. So you can drill down to your exact farm area. Okay? So now you have an alpha and numeric search field. Um, and uh, I'm just going to we don't have Sherry Palms in Houston. So uh in Houston? Timberlake. Timberlake? Okay. Silver Lake. Silver, Lake. Silver, Lake. Silver Lake. Silver Lake. Let's take a look. So I'm going to click on the S, and then I'm going to pull down to Silver Lake. Silver Lake in Sugar Land. There we go. Silver Lake, Silver Lake's Ranch. Let's just select Silver Lake. You like that? Now I'm going to pull down. And by the way, you could, in some neighborhoods, you might have the master plan community name and then village names and then neighborhood names all on this search list. You can check all or one or some combination in between. Just make sure that that search criteria matches your landing page target. Okay. So you may want to do do one for the whole neighborhood, one just for micro, or something for everything. Okay? So we're going to pull down to the bottom. Oh, I'm sorry. Right here on the right. See it right there? Save the search. That's what we're going to do. Enter a new search name. We're going to call this about Silver Lake. Yeah, it should be Sherry Palms. Let's do that. That's going to be weird. Yeah, it's going to be weird. It's all weird now. That's all right. <laughs> Sherry, Sherry Land Plantation. Okay. 
here's a, you want all this to match, okay? So we've already messed up big time in this class, okay? <laughs> but you want the name of the landing page, the name of the search, um, all to be exactly the same, all exactly. Okay, now we have options. Go to Save Search Manager or stay on the page. We're going to go to Save Search Manager. So we did it. We created a safe search. We called it Sherry Land Plantation for Silver Lake. Now we're going to drop down to the second option. Create an SEO search page. Now we're going to fill in a few blanks and then we'll wave the pixie dust and see what happens. Okay, so SEO page name we want it all to be consistent, so Sherryland Plantation, okay? A domain name. This page is going to have a unique URL that you could send a link to a particular client if they're focused on that specific ge uh, geographic area. So we're going we're gonna to name it what it is, Sherryland dash plantation. What city is that in? Mission dash Texas. Okay? There's a very specific reason we separated each of these words with dashes. And it's all it's all about SEO, right? Search engines do not recognize a URL, a domain name, okay, where the words are all run together. We like that, it's convenient. We don't like dashes aesthetically, but if you're trying to drive SEO, you have to put the dashes in there because that enables the search engines to recognize that those are separate words, i.e. separate search terms. And if your URL, this is very powerful, if your URL has the same search terms in it that are in the header on the landing page and then are found in your content in the description of the page, that's a win-win-win. Okay? Yes, sir. I saw, Kenneth, was that you with the hand? Yeah, I figured it out. You got it. Okay. Oh, I love that. Okay, so let's, let's finish in the rest of these boxes. Page builder content, 